Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to the maths class. In our last class of fraction, we discussed about proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fractions, equivalent fractions, and simplest form of fractions. Today, we are going to discuss about like fractions and unlike fractions, comparing fractions, addition and subtraction of fractions. First, we will know about like fractions. Fractions with same denominator are like fractions. For example, 5 by 7, 2 by 7, 13 by 7, 17 by 7, etc. Look here, all the denominators of these fractions are same. So, these fractions are like fractions. Now, what are unlike fractions? Fractions with different denominators are unlike fractions. For example, 13 by 17, 2 by 9, 24 by 5, 13 by 31. Here, all the denominators are different. So, all these are unlike fractions. First point. For like fractions, that is fractions with same denominator, the fraction with greater numerator is greater. Look at here. 7 by 5, 3 by 5, 9 by 5, 2 by 5. All these are like fractions as the denominator in all case are equal but numerators are different. So, which fraction will be greater? Greater numerator. Here, 9 is greater. So, the fraction 9 by 5 will be greater. Now, if you arrange this in descending order, the order will be like 9 by 5 is greater than 7 by 5. Okay? It is greater than 3 by 5. And the smallest one is 2 by 5. Now tell me, among these two fractions, which one is greater? 13 by 17 or 25 by 17? Yes, the answer will be 25 by 17. As if you compare the numerators, 25 is greater than 13. Now, how will you compare unlike fractions? Rule 1. If numerators are same, but denominators are different, then the fraction with smaller denominator is greater. Now, look at here students. 2 by 5, 2 by 9, 2 by 13, 2 by 3. Here all the numerators are same, but the denominators are different. So, which one will be greater here? As the rule says, fraction with smaller denominator is greater. So, find which denominator is smaller here. Yes, 3. So, the fraction 2 by 3 is greater. Then, 2 by 5. Then the greater fraction will be 2 by 9. And the smallest fraction here is 2 by 13. Okay students. Now compare these two fractions. And tell which fraction is greater here. Yes, 14 by 70 is greater here. Why? Because 70 is the smaller denominator here. Rule number 2. If numerators and denominators both are different, then first find the LCM of the denominators. Then find equivalent fraction of each given fraction with that LCM as denominator. Let's see one example. Here 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 are two fractions and you will have to compare them. 
Now look, the numerators and the denominators are different. So first we will have to find the LCM of denominators that is LCM of 3 and 4. Now you know how to find LCM, right? 3 ones are 3, 4 is not divisible by 3. Again give 2, 2 is are 4, again by 2. So LCM is 3 into 2 into 2 that is 12. To find equivalent fraction with denominator 12, we will have to multiply 3 with 4 and also the numerator 2 by 4. So the answer will be 8 by 12. Here also, to find the equivalent fraction with denominator as 12, we will have to multiply denominator 4 by 3 and also numerator 3 by 3. Now the answer here is 9 by 12. Now these two fractions are like fractions. So we know how to compare like fractions. Greater the numerator, greater will be the fraction. So here, which one is the greater fraction? 9 by 12. Hence, 3 by 4 is greater fraction in these two. How? Because equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 is greater compared to the another fraction. Addition of fractions. Students, do you remember in class 5 we did addition and subtraction of fractions? So let's recall it. First example, 2 by 3 plus 1 by 7. First we will have to find the LCM of denominators. Now LCM of denominators 3 and 7 is 21. Now we will have to divide this LCM by denominator of first fraction. So we know 3 sevens are is 21. Now we will multiply the numerator with the quotient. Here also first we will have to divide 21 by 7. The result is 3. Again we will have to multiply 1 and 3. Now we know 2 7s are 14 plus 3 1s are 3 by 21. 14 plus 3 is 17. So the answer of this addition is 17 by 21. Now in the next example, these two are in mixed fractions. So first we will have to convert them into improper fractions. How will you convert? Whole number into denominator plus numerator. So 4 threes are 12 plus 2, 14. 14 by 3. Here. 4 threes are 12, 12 plus 1, 13. So 13 by 4. Now find the LCM of 3 and 4. It will be 12. Now divide 12 by 3. It will be 4. So we will write here 4 into 14. Plus again divide 12 by 4. The answer is 3. So we will write 13 into 3. 14 fours are is 56 plus 13 threes are is 39 by 12. Now add 56 and 39. You will get 95. 
So, 95 by 12. Now, this one is an improper fraction. So, convert it into mixed fraction. We know 12, 7 is 84. So, the final answer is 7 and 11 by 12. Next topic is subtraction of fractions. We use the same method that we use during addition in subtraction. So, first, for the first example, we will have to find LCM of the denominators, that is, of 6 and 3. So, what is the LCM of 6 and 3? 6. Now, divide 6 by 6. The answer is 1. So, we will write 5 into 1 minus. Divide 6 by 3. The answer is 2. So, we will write 1 into 2. Now, multiply 5 ones are 5, 2 ones are 2 by 6. Now, subtract 2 from 5. The answer is 3. So, 3 by 6. Now, 3 and 6 both are divisible by 3. So, we can take this fraction into its simplest form. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. So, the answer is 1 by 2. Now, in the next example, these two fractions are in mixed form. That is, they are mixed fractions. So, first we will have to convert them into improper fractions. Now, convert it. 5 threes are 15. 15 plus 2, 17. So, 17 by 3 minus 3 twos are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 by 2. Now find the LCM of 3 and 2. It is 6. Now divide 6 by 3. The answer is 2. So we will write 17 into 2. Minus again divide 6 by 2. The answer is 3. So we will write 7 into 3. Now multiply. 17 twos are 34 minus 7 threes are 21 by 6. Now subtract 21 from 34, you will get 30. Now this is an improper fraction, so convert it into mixed fraction. Now we know 6 twos are is 12. Remainder here is 1. So, we will write the final answer as 2 and 1 by 6. Okay? So, this is it for today students. I hope the topics that we discussed today are clear to you. Thank you.